So this is a Dell 3070, fully broken down, and we are going to reassemble it from the ground up, starting with the motherboard. You're going to take the rear I.O. ports and you're going to slide that end in first to the case, trying to line up all of the notches and the screw pivot points so that everything aligns just perfectly. You'll have to wiggle it around, but once it's set in place, it just kind of sits in there. This is a small retaining bracket that just sits right in above the CPU socket. It only fits in one way, so no worries if you forget how it goes in. This is the primary bracer for the CPU socket and what keeps it under tension, but it is the perfect screw to start with to reseat this entire motherboard into the case. Each of the corners does have a supporting screw and we're gonna go ahead and put those in place. It's very important to not tighten them the entire way and just to use them as placeholders until we get every other screw set in place. Moving on to our Wi-Fi card, we're going to thread one of these bolts back into its slot, again, not tightening the entire way. A cool thing about Dell motherboards with their M.2 slots is they have these multiple slot arrangements so that you can use the full size cards or you can use the smaller ones like this one here. But since we are using a full size M.2 drive, we are going to select the one for the largest bay option. And then it's time to install our i5 9500 CPU. We're going to look for the gold triangle in the corner of the CPU and on the motherboard, and we are going to line both of those up. This is how you know that your CPU is facing the right direction. And then we're slowly just going to slot that in, keeping that triangle in mind. We're not going to drop it. We're not going to put it in anywhere that seems forced. And then we're going to move the pressure plate down and lock that bar into place. Next comes the thermal paste. I like to use a small cross design. There is no perfect way to do this. This is just what works for me. Then we're going to take our heat spreader and sit that right on top, making sure the airflow arrows are pointed towards the back of the case. Then we're going to go through and tighten all of our screws incrementally, both on the cooler and through the entirety of the motherboard. Next comes the RAM, which will set in these two slots for a total of 12 gigabytes of RAM. Then comes our M.2 drive. We'll line up the notch and slowly set it into place. Then we'll take that screw and slot it into place, pressing down lightly on the storage drive to make sure everything stays in place. Then we'll do the exact same thing with our Wi-Fi card. One thing you can do is attach external antennas to this Wi-Fi card within the case, but this case doesn't have an antenna assembly, so we're not going to be doing that on this build. Then it's time to install the fans. We're going to find our two connectors. There is a notch on them and we want them facing into the case and then we'll slot them into their designated spot. And then we'll do the same with the black connector. Again, we want that notch facing into the case and we'll line it up and set it into place. And then we'll flip this case over, angling the back part down and aligning those two blue clips. Be sure not to catch any cables in between any of the components. Then we'll take our SATA drive in a two and a half inch cradle. 
and we'll line up the slots on the drive and the cradle itself. And then we'll line up all of the notches and slowly slot this into place as well. The only thing left to do is to place our top cover back on this device. There are metal guides on the side of the base plate and it will slide back into its designated spot. And that is reassembling the Dell Optiplex 3070 Micro PC. Please let me know if you have any questions about this installation.